Hi there, Dave Rawlings here, and I've got a couple of messes from Lands Next Emporium that I want to show you. This will be a very, very quick review, just rush through the details. A little bit of background to the order. Uh, we ordered them quite a while ago, and there were a few problems with delivery, but the guy who's running it, Adam, was very, very clear about what was going on and didn't feel that we were kept out of the loop at all. Um, and he made some little improvements on the messes as a result of the wait. So the wait in itself was disappointing but the end product and the communication that went with that product I think were, were worthy of a mention he was very very nice to deal with so first of all we have two this one we'll come back to in a second this here is a training plug now the edge is a lot thinner than an Ensifer for training so for sparring I would be very very reluctant to use this not so much for damage to my partner but to damage the sword these edges here are very very fine for a trainer um, for drilling absolutely lovely this handles very very well I have to say um, as you can see potentially to an grip if we want it um, nice nail on it okay and you can see these are very very workman like made they're very secure all the fittings are nice and anchored there's no problems with any of that there's on this one on the blunt there's no particular spacing on the full tang here there's a little bit of spacing by the pommel but generally very very nice I would recommend getting these these are very 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 good what I would say again is be wary of using them in sparring. As far as for drilling against each other, I think they'll be a pleasure as long as you're not too heavy with them. But they are made to handle, they're not meant to endure a great degree of force. So very, very happy with these and I'll take some better shots of this very soon. Now, this is the shot and as you can see one of the little treats we got for waiting was he made me a very very nice embroidered scabbard and again all of this is very very base quality it's not all whistles and bells and that's fine it's exactly what we asked for um, again quite a simple nail as you can see but well anchored and simply finished these feel very very good very historical so there's a slight difference on this now this is one of the things which is a little bit disappointing I don't know whether you can see there's actually sunlight through here on the slabs of the handle but that said they feel very very securely anchored in place there is no play so even though there is this little bit of sunlight you can see here it is still solid so I'm not actually that disappointed with that it could have been better but I'm just mentioning it because it's there the riveting is quite pretty the nail is good and solid now in a minute Unfortunately, when I took this, as you can see here, there's a nice sharp and clip on this, which I've not had a chance to use yet, which gives it a very, very thin profile, very delicate edge, but these measurements, James Elmsley tells me, have been taken very, very accurately, so I'm very pleased with this as well. Um, I'm going to show you at the end of the clip um, just some, a casual drive-by uh, chopping with this. I got some new tatami. The new tatami is very good, and I've learnt the folly of not wrapping your tatami tightly. Um, so one roll was very, very tight and cut absolutely beautiful. The other one, too loose. Look at videos, learn from that one. Um, so this here cuts beautifully. It really, really does. For the price on these things, if you want a dedicated cutter, I would really consider them. Um, absolutely beautiful have a look at a little clip at the end of this like I say I'm sorry this is a very very short video they're well worth the money you pay for everything from Lands Neck Temporium they're a pleasure to deal with simple sharp brutal bits of kit thank you very much take care